Hey, my beautiful Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the boss lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. So I'm just here. I wanted to pull from this deck, you guys. Um, it was calling out to me and, you know, I was like, Cancers could use some affirmations. So we're going to pull some messages from, from this deck. As you can see, it says you are awesome. I want you to know that you are awesome, Cancer. <clears throat> Flaws and all, you are awesome, okay? And if you are subscribed to the Vibe Tribe, you are awesome to the infinite power, okay? Um, all you have to do, y'all, is hit the subscribe button to be a part of the fam, okay? Make sure you check out the description box below for all the important information that you may want to know, bossladybtarot.com if you're interested in a personal reading or a one-on-one -on -one session with me, okay? So... Let's see what affirmations come up for cancer. What does cancer need to hear right now? Spirit, thank you for clear. Ooh, see, and I knew, I was like, see, look, cancer, just do you, okay? Middle fingers to the air. F it, you just gonna be you, okay? You ain't got time to be worried about how, who feel about what, what's going on with who, you just doing you, okay? You just doing you and being being you and being uh living life to the beat of your own drum. Um me, okay? Be me. That's that's what you're doing. You're doing you unapologetically and <laughs> just flowing through life and letting things flow and that's what's going to propel you forward, Cancer. That's the energy that spirit wants you to have where you have this acceptance of who you are and you're loving yourself who you are flaws and all okay whatever feels right for you that's what's right let's see what does cancer need to hear right now spirit i am my new true fierce self i'm loving this energy do you hear me i'm definitely feeling like queen of wands vibe from this but cancer like putting your own snazz on it okay it's like you're coming out i'm feeling rebel i'm feeling just spicy like you know what yeah this is how i feel and what about it you know i'm ready to stand 10 toes down on it i am my new true fierce self defined by um joy and kindness no bird degree burns here so yeah you're this phoenix rising from the ashes and i feel like i said that y'all so you um maybe like seeing a phoenix somewhere even because that's the second time i feel like that's come up for us cancer that phoenix kind of rising from the ashes but yeah you are just like and you are feeling you it's like you have this kind of new lease on life okay and you're not you don't care what anybody has to say about it as long as you're happy you're being um true to yourself authentic to yourself you're not worried about anything or anyone else it's like you you don't even look like what you've been through here okay no bird, no bird degree burns here. And you know, you may have been dealing with some birds. You know how them birds be. They be chirping. But you don't look like what you've been through, okay? You are the mightiest of the bird. <laughs> and it's like, F you to the people, to the haters, okay? I'm digging this energy, Cancer. Like, I'm loving it. Because I feel like, yeah, Cancer, it's time. Now, look, it's getting time. We rolling into the year of the chariot. Like, yeah, step into your power. Step onto your stage. I am here. Hear me roar, okay? That's what I'm talking about, Cancer. What does Cancer need to hear, Spirit? All right. Well, that just had to fly out. And I'm glad that it did because this is that water energy. It's like, look... You got that balance, Cancer. Okay? I am a wave in this vast ocean flowing around obstacles. You smooth with it, Cancer. Okay? These obstacles ain't nothing for you. <laughs> you are complimenting the other waves around you. Okay? So you pull together with the collective. When you're in this energy and you're being authentically you and you're rolling in flow, that's when that's when you're at your best and that's when the collective is at its best when we're think about it if we were all operating in that energy collectively at the same time like what we could accomplish just think about it and i feel like too with this water showing up your emotions okay still stay true to your emotions 
there may be things beneath the surface still that you need to address. What does Cancer need to hear right now, Spirit? When I feel out of control, I remind myself there is someone out there to help. Staying grounded takes work and I am ready. Are you ready to do the hard work, Cancer? Are you ready to do the work? Um, and there's always, yeah, when you feel like, you know, when you're in this state of flow and you kind of get, the waves kind of get choppy and you feel like, all right, things is getting a little wobbly. I don't know what's going on. That's when you reach out. Even if you don't feel like you have someone physically um, in your physical world to reach out and help, um, ask for help, your, sp your spiritual team is here. They know what you need. Ask for what you need. Um, ask for help staying grounded, okay? Staying grounded, meditating, y'all, takes work. Do you know, like, if you try, if you're trying to meditate for the first time, you are going to think of everything in the world and nothing of what you ever would have thought you would have thought about when you're trying to meditate. When you are trying to clear your mind and really meditate, I mean, if you're honest, anyone that's meditating, they know, like, it's just human nature. Your mind is going to wonder or you could feel like you're out of control of your mind because you just can't seem to just stay in a clear state like you just can't seem to stay with a clear mind nothing you're not worried about doing a laundry two hours later or whatever okay it happens it happens but it takes work it's a muscle okay so you can start out with 30 seconds train your mind okay that's the work of staying grounded when your emotions get out of control that's when you remember that you have this balance okay where you can stay, um, <laughs> you can stay grounded. I love this though. This energy. I'm gonna pull one more for Cancer. Ooh, one more for Cancer Spirit. What do they need to hear most at this time? When negative vibes cloud my thoughts, I high kick them up and out, okay? Yeah, it's like, uh-uh, bye. And that's even if people are bringing negative vibes to you, okay? That's why I said she she got two middle fingers up. Like, uh-uh, I'm not worried about it. And that's what you're going to do to these thoughts. It's unrealistic to say that you'll never have a negative thought, uh, a thought of um, doubt, a, a thought of worry. It's, it, you know, that's just unrealistic, but when it comes up, you can recognize it, you can reframe it, and you can send that negative thought where it came from, okay? hi -ya. That's what I'm hearing, like, hi -ya. Um, Karate, kick it up out of here. I'm going to pull a couple of tarot cards. Yeah, because you could have, that three of swords was at the bottom of the deck, y'all. You could definitely have had some negative thoughts about certain situations that you felt like you were out of control of. There could have been some emotions, negative emotions about the situation. Remember, um, I said you didn't look like what you've been through, but I didn't say you haven't been through nothing, okay? But all of what you're going through and what you've been through is for you to kind of show up as you authentically and say, F it, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me, you know, the good, the bad, the dark, the light, you know, I'm going to accept myself that, you know, yeah, I'm trying to think positively, but I still have negative thoughts. I still get in a mood, right? Yeah, Cancer, we're moody. I still get in a mood, but when, when I get in that mood, I get myself out of that mood, right? I don't just sit there and soak in it. I get up and I get moving. Some of you may even want to, um, like, pick up some type of movement. Like, uh, I'm seeing, like, karate or boxing or whatever. Or um, dance, too. Because she's like a ballerina. What does Cancer need to um, hear right now, Spirit? Yeah, look. Six of Wands. You're going to have victory over those things that were trying to hold you hostage. Trying to hold you down. Those negative thoughts. You're gonna have victory past that cancer. You're going you're going to have where you felt like you didn't have control, you're going to regain control. Yeah, it's like you've definitely you've risen out of this 
Yeah, you've risen out of this darkness, Cancer. So you may have even felt like, you know, life has been kind of dark for you lately. but Or you may have even felt like you haven't had a win. But this is your win. Being able to show up as you. Like, no mask. No, um, you know, no guard, really. And I'm not saying that you aren't protected. But it's just like you aren't going into a situation... With, with guards up you're you're coming out a winner you're coming out victorious that's why you are the phoenix that rose from the ashes yeah look having your ten of cups king of wands so this fire energy is definitely um showing up cancer but ten of cups i feel like this is definitely your journey to your um complete and your complete happiness and you're having that happiness because you're comfortable in your own skin you're accepting who you are and you're okay putting that on display in this Six of Wands energy, right? You're okay putting that on display. I feel like, too, um, you know, Cancer, family is really important. However you view family, I feel like family is very important. And there's um, stability showing up here. Happiness showing up around um, family, right? I'm feeling like a happily ever after, too, in this Ten of Cups. Yeah, someone's manifested this. I actually, that King of Wands still showed up at the bottom. I'm going to, transformation showing up here. You are going through a rebirth right now, Cancer, and that's where you're rising from this these ashes, right? All you have ever known is um, upgraded to become your best self. Be confident in the outcome. Yeah, with this King of Wands energy, he exudes comp confidence. And that's where you should have, like, you should be so confident in being who you are that you don't care. It's like you, you're you okay putting yourself out there. You're okay being vulnerable. You're okay just going with the flow. Give me a message for cancer. So choices popped out. The crossroad you are on is urging you to make a choice. Don't doubt yourself and choose with love from your heart. Then you can never go wrong. So you could be facing some type of choice here. And the choice could be simply, are you ready to um, step into this power? You're at this crossroads where it's like, all right, now it's time to step out there, put, put yourself out there, or you can continue to hide behind the scenes. But if you're moving out of love, you're never going to do wrong. Like, never. That's why y'all, that's why my um guidelines lead with love. Y'all know, I'm going to have to put that on a shirt. I know somebody may already have it, but yeah. I'm serious about that leading with love because when you do, like you cannot go wrong when, when you're leading with love. That's that's what would cure the world if we if people moved with a little bit more love. Give me one more message here for Cancer Spirit. See, yeah, someone, um, the choice is to go for something. And Spirit is saying, are you going to take action or are you going to keep not taking action? Make it happen. Take this opportunity that has presented itself to you. The time is now. I feel like the time is now, that phrase has been coming up too. The time is now, Cancer. Uh, let's see. Hold on. clarify this energy perspective getting clarity so yeah it's time to it's time to sit down meditate cancer to gain this clarity because i feel like yeah you're definitely at some type of crossroads or some type of turning point where it's time to look at everything okay look at the big picture impression versus fact okay where it's time to look you're at the crossroads where it's time to take responsibility for your life like, you have to make things happen. Like, you can sit and pray and meditate and wish and all that. But, you know, you have to put some action behind things, too. So, you have to, you know, at the same point, be loving where you are, loving who you are, accepting the situation, but changing your perspective and always keeping it of one going after what it is that you desire. Spirit is saying, y'all, the time is now. Okay, I feel like I done said that 
a couple of times. The time is now. So shift your perspective into knowing that the time is now and trust the process. Okay. Everything always works out. Something is better on the horizon. Have total confidence in the universe. Have total confidence in yourself. There's that flow state, that water, that still water just flowing with the waves, being in the zone, loving life, being in a high frequency, kind of just floating along, you guys. Yeah, but you've been built up for this. You've been you've been built up for this because of these experiences that you've been um and it could have been experiences with with your family too with the 10 of cups showing up. And they may have not even been, you know, all that all the all that great of experiences with your own family. But I definitely see you look, you're it's like you're coming out of the situation that was meant to you you would have felt like it was trying to take you out but it wasn't it was just trying to bring you out basically bring you out and and make you be okay with being you stepping into your power owning it saying f it you know changing your perspective not you know not thinking small thinking big and not being afraid of um, the process, right? Give me one more for Cancer Spirit. What does Cancer need to hear? The magic of pretending. So um, visualize the ideal situation. Be very detailed. This is that manifestation, right? Play the part. See it as manifested. Speak it into existence. Be certain. And being certain is being confident. Like as you're sitting here and manifesting, you're you're trusting the process that the things that you're manifesting, they come in. It's a process. Some things, you know, happen in the process. You may be looking at an end goal, but spirit is setting you up for the process. And you can't get to what you're manifesting because you're sitting here at the at the beginning of the road. See, there's even a crossroads here. It's time for you to make a decision to take some type of action um, to go for it. Be confident in what you've learned, the skills that you've acquired up until this point, the perspective of the process, okay? Start being in this. And even if you aren't in this energy of, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, kind of free spirit, kind of just, I'm okay being me, okay? I'm just, I'm being me and I'm letting it all hang out, okay? That kind of energy, Fake it until you make it. Fake it until you feel that confidence. Spirit is wanting to build your confidence in yourself. That's that's what these experiences that you're facing are um, are intended to do. Bring about this confidence in yourself. So no matter the mayhem that you've been facing, you come out victorious. And you come out you. I'm so proud of you, Cancer. I'm so proud of us um because yeah i just love this energy of you just kind of like showing showing up just being okay with being yourself right gratitude popping out so definitely saying in this attitude of gratitude is going to help with your manifestations too but just being in this state of flow but when it comes to making this decision like that's when it's time to put um inertia okay behind something you know to move the energy you have to move to literally move all right so i'm gonna leave this message right here i really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful in some way please feel free to like share subscribe to the channel if you have not already check out bossladybtarot.com if you're interested in a personal reading or a personal session i'll see you down in the comments you guys but in the meantime in between time until next time i love you